You have to have a plan and plan ahead, as you heard, because it could be at 3.30 in the morning, waking up out right. of bed. Of course, uh, tracking this morning, it's much quieter weather making its way through the region. A couple light rain showers still lingering across the parts of western Kentucky, some patchy drizzle. But uh, overall, most of the rain is wrapping up here in the area, and we're not expecting uh, any of these rain showers to last for very long. And uh, we do still have a lot of clouds overhead, kind of a, a cool, blustery morning outside, especially compared to, say, yesterday morning. These are live views from Mount Vernon, Metropolis, Poplar Bluff, Sparta this morning. We do have overcast sky in all of those regions, by the way, to start the day. Uh, right now, temperatures anywhere from 20 to 25 degrees cooler than they were at this time yesterday morning, uh, and that puts us uh, at least back into the 40s across much of southern Illinois. Still some 50s across southeast Missouri, western Kentucky, 46 Marion, 50 in Cape, uh, 50 as well into Sykeston, Missouri, 48 now in Union City, Tennessee, and Sparta, Illinois, down to 42 degrees. Kind of a cloudy, cool into the week. Uh, winds will be out of the north today and the northeast tomorrow, so uh, both days kind of blustery as well. Uh, looking ahead to Easter weekend coming up, and temperatures will start to gradually warm back up. Should be a beautiful weekend. As Mornings will be a little on the chilly side, but the afternoons will be great to get outside. And then next week, uh, well, you enjoyed maybe some of those temperatures back in the 70s and 80s earlier this week. We'll see more of that uh, as we look ahead to next week. But cold front moving now well to our east into the Appalachian Mountains. Some rain behind that across uh, parts of central Tennessee. If you're doing any traveling this morning, planning to head down I-24, heading towards Nashville or heading down I-55 to get closer to Memphis, you'll run more and more into some of the wet weather. And a lot of cooler air filtering in across the upper Midwest. I think locally we're pretty much done with frost and freeze potential here in our region, but uh, that's not the case out across the northern plains, even uh, parts of Nebraska right now. Omaha down to 23 degrees this morning, 37 in Kansas City, uh, 47 in Carbondale and to our south Memphis, Tennessee, still at 51 degrees. Those are the little light rain showers we're talking about. They're out of here pretty quickly. Uh, lots of clouds around through the afternoon. We're talking uh, temperatures today only into the low to mid 50s. That is about 10 degrees below average, by the way, for this time of year. Tonight, uh, clouds stick around through a good part of the overnight hours, but uh, especially in the southern Illinois, some rural areas could dip back into the upper 30s tomorrow morning because of the breeze, because of the cloud cover. I think frost potential is pretty much uh, very small, but as we look uh, ahead to tomorrow afternoon, clouds stick around. High temperatures only into the uh, lower 60s, still below average tomorrow, and uh, still a lot of clouds around as well through much of the day on Friday. Trending a little warmer this weekend, back near average. The average high this time of year, 65 degrees. We'll be back near that on Saturday. Uh, upper 60s return on Sunday. Sunday, and then uh, we climb back into the 70s next week as we kind of go through a big pattern change here. Where finally the jet stream is going to retreat north of the Canadian border. That is a very warm pattern for us, but also a much quieter pattern. Uh, six to 10 day temperature outlook uh, puts very warm air right across the central U.S. and uh, some quieter weather finally starting to show up as well. Six to 10 day rainfall outlook would keep us drier than average through the middle of the month. A seven day forecast, haven't been able to say this for a while, but a seven day forecast without any rain in it. Uh, Sunday afternoon, high of 68 degrees, climbing into the 70s next week. Tuesday, we're in the low 70s. And look at that, Wednesday and Thursday of next week, we're back in the mid to upper 70s, approaching 80 degrees by next Thursday and Friday. I can hear those golf tee times just filling up Birds right chirping, yeah, all <laughs> kinds oh, yeah. of good all activities right. coming up. <laughs> well, straight ahead, we'll have a preview of our top stories for the next half hour. Plus, we'll have your Thursday morning sports after the break, but we've got one more pair